got one more month to, to go in the regular season. It's a uh, uh, couple more home matches this week. You know, I just got done watching <clears throat> watching our film uh, against Minnesota, and I think one of the things that's really starting to jump out at me is is uh, we're getting a lot better in our first two contacts. Our, our passing the past three weeks has been just r really, really good. Uh, big, big time jump uh, from where we were the start of the year. I thought both setters uh, played really well. It's hard to sometimes it's hard to notice them. Both of them would say if you're not noticing them, then they're doing a pretty good job. And I thought both of them did a fantastic job. And then just our defensive effort, I thought was uh, was was really good. Uh, we've got Purdue for the first time on Wednesday. Uh, and uh, we'll have the opportunity to get them at home. Um, uh, keeping with Purdue, uh, every team's different. Just can you speak to the challenge? Where, where do you think Purdue will, will be a challenge for your team in particular? Mm. There, uh, the toughness. Uh, I think what starts at what jumps out immediately is just that their the, the toughness on the left pin is they've got uh, they've got a freshman and a, and a sophomore that just have absolutely no fear. I mean, they just play the game the right way. They play hard. Um, you know, they take big swings. They work the court, and they just keep coming and coming and coming. Uh, I think it starts it starts with the two of them. You know, Colvin in the middle is is, is really good. Um, uh, their their ball control is the typical ball control of of a Purdue team, and their defensive tenacity is a typical Purdue team. But uh, th they are probably as uh, as fearless on the left as as we've seen in, in a while. And they're young, and they're just going to keep getting better. You mentioned the passing. Talking about Izzy Ashburn, does it sometimes feel like she has eyes in the back of her head, like with the connections she has and just kind of the speed at which those plays play out mm -hmm. sometimes? It just kind of how invaluable is that to mm -hmm. have? Yeah, I think, uh, it, it, you know, Izzy's, Izzy's a really fearless kid. Uh, she's There's a lot of trust in, uh, in all of our hitters, but her and Devin, uh, you know, Devin spends most of the time behind her, and so she'll she'll go to Devin quite a bit. And, um, you know, I mean, just her all around game, just the, the the confidence that she she carries with her, the fearlessness that she carries with her. You know, in in MJ, I mean, it's you know when she yesterday is, I thought she was. Really, really good. I mean, as, as well of a match as she's played all year long. And I thought before she, she was out for a few days um, or uh, a couple of weeks with a concussion, I thought she was she was playing really well. It took her a little bit to kind of uh, to get back, a little bit rough in in the Nebraska match and and uh, Michigan State match compared to what she was before. But I thought she was she was right where she was before that uh, yesterday. So I mean, both, both setters are playing as well as they've played their entire career right now. When you get ready to play a team like Purdue that's, sorry, <laughs> you get ready to play a team like Purdue that's ranked, obviously, and then you turn around and play them almost exactly two weeks later, is that some sort of an advantage there? Is it it's something that helps your team, you know, knowing that you've got them twice in a row when it's a, a opponent that's highly ranked? Mm. Well, it, they're, uh, they're, they'll be a little bit fresher in your mind sometimes, you, you know, in our sport when you're playing a, a team twice and, and uh, you know, weeks go off the clock. Uh, it's, it takes you a little bit longer to remember some, some things. But... You know, I don't know. We play about you know ten days later, wh wherever it is. It's uh, w we should have a pretty good understanding of, of what we just did and be able to make adjustments uh, uh, at, at that time. With um, um, I would just want to get your thoughts on you know Devin since she's she's come back. Uh, first two sets yesterday, I don't think she had an error, and or she was hitting really well. And then last set, it tapered off a little bit. But are, are you starting to see? 
her kind of get back into that flow that people kind of expect of her? I, t I told her during during warm up yesterday. I thought she uh, she had she was as explosive as I've seen her in a in a while. Uh, she was getting on the ball and just really jumping well. And and uh, uh, I think she got uh, she got stuffed once on a, on a good block move, if I'm remembering right, uh, last night, and then went for a cross court shot that just barely missed. But She's getting to the areas of the court that she hasn't before, and uh, she's working on being, you know, being able to hit different shots and get it into some some different areas, and then be able to to do it in big moments. It's, you, you know, you, you think of about a basketball player that that goes in there and hits threes when nobody's on them and the gym's empty in practice, but then can you do that and, you know, when somebody's guarding you, and then can you do it with, with. Uh, you know, 10 seconds to go in the game and you're down by one, you know, that's something totally different. And, uh, you, you know, with her, I, I think being able to execute in, in different moments, different areas of the course, she's really worked hard on that. And, and, uh, and, and it's, it's getting better. You know, she's had some, she's had some huge matches for us. She's a, obviously a really important player for us. You gave up the mic? Ah, he stole it. He stole it. He does that. He does that, man. Well, he's, he's quick on the draw. You got to. <laughs> uh, Coach, I got one for you. Yeah. So last yesterday on the broadcast, they yeah. were the the announced crew was really singing Sarah Franklin's praises. Yeah. Obviously, she played great, yeah. and really pitching her as a potential Big Ten Player of the Year candidate. Yeah. Uh, a couple months ago, would you have predicted that this team would have a star arise and? Do you think Sarah Franklin has reached that status to maybe be a conference player of the year? Yeah, it's a. Uh, I thought we had a few people that were capable of doing that. The question is, are you going to get set enough to to do that? Uh, I'd be I'd be surprised if there's anybody that's playing in the country that's playing as well as Sarah is right now. I mean, just. Um, you know she's playing the entire game. She's she's bringing it every single night. Um, she's carrying a, a really big load for uh, for us. Um, you know people are trying to wear her down. Uh, you know by serving a lot of balls at her, and she's handling that. We're she's getting kills in system, out of system, at every area of the court. She's serving well. She's her blocking is is getting better. Um, We've got a we've got a few people that are capable of playing at that level, um, but she's certainly playing better than she has at at any other at any other point. It's uh, and we've needed it. I mean, she's 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 been huge.